I gotta check. It right ain't that. It's just. It ain't really like. It just has a list of the cast. It's a little weird though. I don't know what she's gonna do. Folks, how you doing? <laughs> we are here again, live. Well, we're live right here, right now. Yeah. But <laughs> you, you, you guys will be seeing this recorded. You are in the Actors Cut with Uber Guy once again. Thank you for joining me on my wonderful show. And I have another wonderful, beautiful, and talented guest, say Miss Tara Weddington. Tara, thank you Hi. for coming through. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> yes, we're going to talk about her. She's, this is a wonderful young lady that I had the honor and privilege to meet and work with when we just did a uh, very big um, theatrical production produced by uh, LaJoyce Berkshire and Blake Roberts entitled Faith Under Fire, and this woman right here can act. She, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It was, it was so, let's, let's not me talk anymore. Let's get and talk to her. Tara, hey, how are you? Hi, how are Thank you? you for coming through. Thank you. So introduce yourself to the people. Let them know who you are. Um, hi, my name is Tara Weddington, and I'm an actress. <laughs> Where are you from? I am from Missouri. Um, Florissant, Missouri. Are you? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm I from the not... Midwest. <laughs> what? So am I. I'm from Michigan. Get out of here. Yes. Yeah, oh, look, awesome. Look at that. Midwest in the house. <laughs> so I was thinking, why was I thinking that you were from Brooklyn? Because I live in Brooklyn right now. So I do live in Brooklyn right now. It's actually probably the closest to, it's the borough that's the closest to the Midwest to me. So it has a, a Midwestern vibe. I don't know if they'll like that or not, though. Well, I mean, you know, I've lived in Brooklyn, and yeah. they, they do have, like, a Midwestern vibe. Because it's kind of, it, even though it gets popping out in Brooklyn, it's still kind of laid back. Yeah. Manhattan, yeah. it's always something like, it's dudes rhyming underneath my house all the time, all the, all and I'm like, go home. It's three o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, last night it was somebody standing on the corner. They were having a freestyle cypher. It was like... 3.30 in the morning. Well, I'm that's like, kind of exciting, though. I mean, I know. Yeah, when you try yeah. to sleep. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, and your bars is whack. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> so how long have you been here in New York from Missouri? I've been here about two and a half years. Okay. You've been yeah. pursuing your acting the whole yeah, time. Yeah, so I have. Actually, the first year, uh, it just took, some, uh, took me some time to get used to the city because um, it was a lot more fast paced than what I was used to. And I kind of just spent my time just working and working and working. And it got to a point where I was like, Tara, what are you out here for? Mm -hmm. You know, you're out here to act. Right. So get right. on it, pursue it, and just keep going forward with that. And so now I will say officially, it's been like a year and a half that I am pursuing acting in New York. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> very nice. So growing up, who was some of your influences that you will watch on TV and say, I can do that, or, you know, I, I this this is something mm -hmm. that I think I, I, I know I can do. You know what? Uh, <laughs> so acting was not something that I saw myself doing little. When I was younger, I was really athletic. I played a lot of sports. So um, I was like, oh, I'm going to run in the Olympics. I'm going to be a track runner <laughs> in the Olympics. I was very, very fast. And so I have an athletic background in basketball, track, cross country. Very and nice. So, a woman that loves sports is very dear to my heart. <laughs> So that was that was my thing. The only thing was I was a very um, I guess you could say theatrical basketball player. I was as as tough as I was. I was also my coaches didn't like this, but I was very silly on the court. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that was just the basis of I I you know there was the world was like a stage to me. But with that I you would think that sports would make you confident and it will build all this confidence and it didn't it didn't at all and so i grew up once i hit that awkward stage of middle school and high school i was very um of course i was silly around my fa my friends but when it came to just being out in public i was very nervous i had a lot of anxiety i stuttered and i also never uh looked up i always looked down um and so uh, i never looked people in the eye and when it was time for me to just speak in class it was very difficult mm -hmm. and so one day uh i transferred to a different high school and it was my junior year and 
I was walking with my dad, looking down, walking slow, <laughs> and like not talking to anybody. You must have didn't hear and what Pop said, keep your head up. Yeah, yeah, you know, and there was this teacher. Um, his name is actually Rich Prozarkowitz. He's a great actor, and he came up to my dad, and he's like, she needs to join my speech class. And I'm like, no, daddy, please don't. <laughs> I don't want to do this. And my dad's like, no, you're going to speech. And he was such a good instructor that it really helped me come out of that shell and it, and it helped me to hold my head up high and to speak and so after that he was like why don't you get into like my drama class and come to find out I was pretty good at it mm -hmm. I, I wasn't bad mm -hmm. I, and, you and it just it. thank you, you <laughs> and I just started to it. grow with that and and you know it got to a point where when I because I didn't go to school for acting either but once I was in like my mid-year I was like you know what this was a craft that just helped me as a person. Not only did it help me understand people and, and sociology and, and psychology, it, it just helped me grow as a person. It bettered me. And so I thought, you know what, maybe this is um, something that I should go further with because every day it, should hel it helps me better as a person. So Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> right now we got a lot of things going on in Hollywood, mm -hmm. you know, with a lot of the issues that we had as far as, you know, they were saying keep award shows, don't make a black award show, you know, different things like okay. that with black actresses and so forth. Okay. How do you feel the state of black Hollywood right now for black actresses? Do you feel that you are stereotyped into certain roles or do you feel like mm -hmm. it's open or do you feel like we just need to make more opportunities for ourselves to be able to get our craft out there? Um. Oh, well, a couple of things, and this is, I'm basing it off of my experience and maybe some experiences that I know that friends have. Um, so, I feel like for everyone, put, do, if you could do your own work, then do it. Mm -hmm. If you just constantly write, constantly produce your own work, and that is going to get the attention that you want from um, casting directors, agents, or even producers to produce for a project that you have. I see nothing wrong with producing your own work. Um, as a, a black actress, um, I, I feel like, you know, that uh, there's, there can sometimes be a disappointment when you look at breakdowns because you, <laughs> you go on there and you see all these really cool roles and it may only say Caucasian, you know? Yeah. And so then you're like, dang, uh, I really feel like I can really portray that role if it speaks to me. But, mm -hmm. you know, you would never get that opportunity because of that. And, and with that being said, um, I, I also think there should be diversity, there should be more diversity, but but if there are uh, white writers and they're writing about experiences that they have and what they can relate to, then they're going to cast right. what they are used right. to. That is With very that being important. said, there That's also so needs true. to be um, opportunities for more writers of color and directors of color to get their work out there so they can be able to have work and look for actors that are just you know that looks that's brown right. that's uh, art that's women or you know that is uh, someone that may may write a story about a person in a wheelchair there are actors that you know have handicaps and things like that right so right. It, it it needs to be diversity world you know worldwide um, or not worldwide, yeah. but you know what I mean. We so yeah, yeah. Worldwide. <laughs> worldwide. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And um, so, you know, but there, I do have friends that have had uh, experiences where they feel like they cannot get anything, you know, they, they just feel like there's just nothing out there for mm -hmm. their type. Mm -hmm. And so that can get a bit uh, disappointing and yeah. a, a bit heavy and and, you know, it can lead to just ill feelings about the craft right so yeah and that and that, mm -hmm. and, that and that's very well put and mm -hmm. especially what you said the mm -hmm. the writers what mm -hmm. they write about you know their life that's they are going to cast mm -hmm. you know from that they're not going to you know write about their life and then cast you know uh asians or blacks and something mm -hmm. if it doesn't fit you know everything has to fit but and with, with saying that too how you just said and when i go on casting networks a lot mm -hmm. and i apply for different jobs and so forth um, it has, you know, it does have a, a, everything on there, um, Caucasian, or it'll never have black, well, some things will have African-American if it's geared towards them, but a lot of things will have, like, uh, uh, 
ambiguous, you know. You're Racially a, ambiguous, yeah, yeah. you know, like, you know, different things like yeah. that. And, and, you know, one of the things that was a big deal, I remember maybe a couple months ago when Hamilton was real big, mm -hmm. and Hamilton put out, we're only looking for black actors because mm -hmm. it's a black play, and a lot of people got offended by that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how the hell are you going to get offended by that when there's stuff here all the time that says yeah. Caucasian only? Because, yeah. and me, I don't care. I apply for Caucasian roles, Indian roles, <laughs> Asian roles, because, mm -hmm. you know. You never know. You, you never, you never know. know. Yeah. And that's my mindset. You know, the, the director could, you know, see you, yes, you know, see something true. in you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I apply for everything, you know, even though, you know, sir, it, it is it is very limited, you know, but you just have to continue to push and keep yourself out there and, and just push yourself. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. Tell me, tell me about Tell me about one of your funniest, one of your either one of your funniest auditions or like one of your most embarrassing mm. audition moments. Auditions? Hey, let's hear both. Auditions, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, auditions. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that was funny. Oh, I I got some, <laughs> I got some funny ones. Let's hear um, it. It was funny and embarrassing. Um, so I don't really go out for these, they, they give me a lot of anxiety, these particular auditions, but sometimes there are videos that look for actresses, um, whether it's like music videos or things like that. I give all credit to actors and actresses that act in music videos. I don't know how you do it, especially <laughs> women. I don't know how you do it. It looks easy, like, oh, they're just dancing, they're just moving to the music. It's extremely hard. <laughs> and so um, I got called in for an audition, it was for an R&B singer, and they were like, we just want to see you be sen you know, sensual and sexy and, and move to the music. And <laughs> in this audition, it was just like, I was like, okay. And, <laughs> and you know, I, I was like, what, you know, what's sexy? And, and the movements were just awkward. I was extremely stiff. They kind of giggled a bit. Um, <laughs> they kind of laughed at me. And so, uh, you know, I'm trying to like grocery shop and, you know, I'm just like trying to body roll, but it looks weird. It just, it was awful. Yeah, like trying to pop it, but I couldn't pop anything. And so <laughs> that, that was embarrassing. Hilarious. I was like, I'm never <laughs> doing this again. I, I, <laughs> It happens I, it's, sometimes. It's being hot is hard. <laughs> Trying to be a sexy person, right? It, 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 that's that's probably the most difficult you, thing for me be as sexy. an actor. Right, and I'm just like, what? what? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. I was like, what do you want? I don't know. But some people are really good at it, and I applaud them. Right, mm -hmm. right. You yeah. know what I want to talk about? Mm -hmm. I want to talk about your sports background. Okay. What's your favorite sport? My Favorite sport is I I like basketball and I like I like track I like track I love watching you know I also like gymnastics but I've never done that before it's tricky because I I, lo I love all sports so I'm trying to think like what's my favorite maybe I I, I have a lot of history with track so I'm always gonna just always gonna have a dear spot in my heart. But uh, I think basketball would be my favorite sport. B-ball. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your team? Who's my team? Does I don't Missouri have, have a team? Missouri no, doesn't have a team. We don't. Who do you guys root for besides we, Kansas City Royals? We we root for our college ball and our high school <laughs> basketball teams, <laughs> and then you know we we may have our individual particular teams. But um, we're we're a huge baseball yeah, city. Like yeah. like Missouri loves baseball, so we also have the Cardinals. You do have and the Cardinals. You yeah, do have the Cardinals. They're great. I shouldn't say that. Like I live Cardinals. in New York. I don't want to like get Why in not? trouble. Because I rep Michigan all the time. Okay. Go blue. <laughs> go Lions. Yeah. Go Tigers. Go Red Wings. Yeah. And go D Detroit WNBA shop. Yeah, I rep there all go. wherever yeah. I'm at. I rep. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um yeah, I, I I like basketball and Who's your squad? Okay, I don't have like a particular. I used to for a long time like the Boston Celtics, and then this interview is over. <laughs> I did. I'm out of here. I did. Didn't I just tell y'all the Pistons fans? I know. I Wait. still have nightmares about that stolen pass. I, I I used to, and now it's like individual players. Okay. So okay. I just have my individual players. So who who's your, who's who's some of your top? I, your, give okay. me your top three. My top three, okay. I like 
I'm, I'm scared. Because you're like so intense. Okay, it's I, okay. Like, it's okay. I like LeBron. Yes. I like LeBron. Yes. I like Steph Curry. I, I like Steph Curry. I have no problem with Steph Curry. Um, I also, I used to really like Mike Bibby, but I don't think he's playing anymore. Mike Bibby is not playing. Yeah, he's he not playing. In college, I used to watch him in college. Yeah. I love that yeah. Mike Bibby team. Uh, Mike Bibby and Chris Webber and Doug Christie uh, yeah, out there in Chris Sacramento. Weber. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, because was God. great. <laughs> yes. And, uh, you know, I, I liked Shaq. I, I really liked Shaq. I don't know if it's because he did so much, like, stuff out offside the court where I was like, oh yeah, growing up, I love Shaq, he's cool, you know? Like <laughs> well, Shazam. Like, everybody I, likes Shaq. Seems great. Yeah, I think, I think Shaq is awesome until he started stealing all the commercials. <laughs> he does have a lot of commercials, huh? Yeah, he's got a lot of I'm not even going to shout, shout those commercials out because they're not paying me. <laughs> so many commercials. He's like, Shaq, we need, we need those he's commercials to live. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's like these rappers but, uh, and singers <laughs> taking the actors' parts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, those are probably my three. Yeah, Shaq, I, I, I like Shaq. Le, LeBron, yeah. Steph. I, 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 here's my thing with Steph Curry. Okay. <sighs> Steph, I like Steph. Mm -hmm. Steph is a phenomenal talent, as we all see. I can't hate and be like, oh mm -hmm. no, Steph, he sucks or whatever. I think Steph was just, and I'm not a hater. Mm -hmm. I am a participator and a congratulator. Trust me on that. I am not a hater. But I think a lot of, you know, he got pushed into that, like, put on that pedestal okay. real quick, you know? Yeah. Like, it, you know, even though with LeBron, he was crowned, you know, king, you know, yeah. high school player, first high school player on the cover of Sports Illustrated, mm -hmm. you know, just, you know, just from watching him back in AAU and, like, yeah, I followed yeah. LeBron his whole career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so he... Yeah, he, he, he kind of deserved to be up top. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, he ruffled some people's feathers with the right, decision with, and then everything Miami. else. Yeah. And, you know, and so they were they were looking for they were looking for somebody new. And then you got you got Steph, he got he got curly hair, a pretty wife, you know, his mm -hmm. dad was in the NBA and this is our guy. He shoots mm -hmm. three pointers, bam, he turns around, he's done. I, I, I don't I I, I like Steph, but I think LeBron is still the best overall player. Is it, was it an like, argument between the two that it, it, one was it, better it, than the other? Because I most definitely people, feel like... People were saying that Steph was better than LeBron, and I'm like, I, there's no I think, way. I think LeBron is extremely talented. I also followed Steph when he was young. I remember seeing him. I was like, who was that kid in the NBA? Like, I remember him looking so... Young, mm -hmm. and so he, so still just, does. he still looks he seventeen. Does, he does, but now that I'm Check like, I'm like, oh, look how he's progressed so much. And there's a bunch of players that I like. I like a lot of players. I like Chris Paul. I think Chris Paul is great as well. CP3, I like Blake CP3. Griffin too. But um, I just, I just liked how it was like. Oh, I'm so glad that he's. You could tell that he he worked hard and he's like he did. benefiting he from did. the hard work. And so. and that and that's why I don't hate because he worked hard. I mean, yeah, those. Those buckets went in. He made those shots. Yeah. He, he led that team, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to have that kind of stellar record, 73 mm -hmm. and 9, that is ridiculous. That within itself mm -hmm. is a championship, mm -hmm. you know, and then coming from, you know, your background of, you know, people were always calling you undersized and you're yeah. not strong yeah. enough and not quick. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I can't hate on Steph. I like Steph. LeBron is just a man, though. LeBron has, just, man, this dude, is, he's, he's just... Are, do you do you think that that uh, Cleveland and Golden State will meet again next year for the championship? Because that even though they picked up KD, I, yeah, oh, that just made LeBron better. That yeah. just made LeBron like they got to pick up everybody to beat me. Yeah. <laughs> they got to pick up everybody to beat me. <laughs> Who's next? Who else they gonna get? Oh. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that, that you know. They just made LeBron just train that much harder, you know, and have, yeah. and, and, you know, with this team, with Kyrie. Kyrie mm -hmm. is young, what, 24? Yeah. You know, and him coming into his, yo, he cooked Steph in the finals. I mean, it was, it was, it was ridiculous. I mean, it was ridiculous what Kyrie did. And then he was cooking people in the Olympics, too. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, you know, I'm going to tell you something about Kyrie. Mm -hmm. I love Kyrie Irving. This is how I knew Kyrie Irving was good. When of course, Kyrie only went to Duke for one year, mm -hmm. but he predominantly missed that whole season with with an injury. Mm -hmm. And they came back 
and the NCAAs, and he was out all year. And I forgot the point guard that they had had in. I think his last name was Jackson or something like that. I can't remember. But this dude was good for Duke all year long, too. As soon as Kyrie came back, Coach K put him right back in the starting yeah. lineup. He had 28 points that game. I was like, this dude is good right here. So much respect to Kyrie. I'm I'm just, I'm, I'm a big sports buff. Yeah, no, it's fine. I love sports. <laughs> I get so excited. Because, you know, I, I, I do work with um, this company called Sports Guru, too. Oh, cool. And it's, it's, it's an it's a, it's a app where we record, like, 60-second clips of stuff. We have little events and stuff. It's, oh, that's really cool. I love sports. Yeah, sports are great. Oh, sports my bring people God. together. They do. <laughs> I got my little sons playing basketball. My daughter <laughs> loves to swim. So I'm Swimming's like, yeah. Swimming's great, too. Swimming's yeah. really good. That, that, that's, Soccer's that's good cardio, getting so. popular. Yes, Soccer's yes. Soccer's getting really yes, popular. Yes. There's also... Um, this issue in soccer right now. I don't know if it's it's an issue. Where well, our women's team is amazing, amazing. Yes. They be and our men's team is ass. they're great too. But our women's team is like one of the top, and they get paid less than the men's right. team. Right. Right. So it's just like. Mm. Well, you know, we it, even within mm. sports, even within corporate everything, it's mm -hmm. always that that financial bias yeah. men and women yeah. you know mm -hmm. it's just you know and, and, and it's and it's not right it's kind of funny it reminds me of that commercial with um Seth Rogen and um oh yeah and, Amy, uh, Amy, Amy uh, Schumer yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. they're like we get paid less what you get paid less but you still gotta pay the same for Bud Light <laughs> like <laughs> no one and they're ah, paying me got him. <laughs> 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 no but I mean and those are things that will you know continue to change so right right it's and, yeah. they, and they are good and they definitely you know deserve to get paid like that mm -hmm. because even though they were upset in the olympics mm -hmm. i mean they won the 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 world cup they mm -hmm. won everything mm -hmm. like they had they had like a 50 million game win streak yeah before the olympics you know mm -hmm. what i mean so Great yeah, team. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Soccer is becoming big here. My kids it's love big. soccer. Yeah. I love soccer. And you know what? That soccer field is humongous. It's huge, right? It's huge. <laughs> it's a big, <laughs> it's a big size field. I be looking at that field like, <laughs> how big is this? It looks like it's like three or four football right. fields long. Yeah, you need all the energy. Oh, you definitely <laughs> have to be in shape to. You can probably easily run ten miles in a soccer right, game. Right, right. You know, even if you just stay on one side of the field, you know, you just run because it's so long and so <laughs> wide. <laughs> right. Oh my God. <laughs> so let's talk more about you though. Okay. Which we've been talking about all the time. So. Where do you see yourself going in the industry? What 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 would you like to do when mm -hmm. Kara Weddington gets in there and does her thing? Okay. Where you want to see yourself going? So, uh, right now, <laughs> right now, I'm getting into a, a lot of voiceover work, and it's it's very relaxing for me. I I have a knack for it, and I like it. I like being in the studio. Um, I like just reading I like to talk so like just reading off of something and just talking and just getting into like the groove of things I like it I can see why people that are singers like to be in the booth I, I can see why it's kind of just like a, a nice like just this is my space right Your now peace and tranquility. right right <laughs> and um, so that's you know I'm really I really like it and uh, I like just finding characters within like just Find a voice, you know, off of the paper, like just being like, I know exactly how this person sounds. Mm -hmm. so I like this try like this. Plus, it's just like you, it's kind of like who's the person behind that voice, you right. know, like you never know. And when you see me, you're like, that who, that's who's making that right. voice? Like, whoa. <laughs> like, so it's, it's really cool. Right. Um, I also, like I said, I have a background in, in sports, so I, the more physical I can be, the better when it comes to. Um, just working as an actor. Um, I like physical theater. I like uh, anything that involves me <laughs> jumping or leaping. I know when <laughs> I was in college, I know I was in college, I was like, oh, if I can just get on like an original sci-fi film, like giant croc versus like, <laughs> like I don't know, like a I giant like a squid. Giant croc. And then I'm like there running and leaping and jumping off of like buildings falling and then like, I mean, this is like a little bit dark, but like if I could like get Sorry. sliced open and like all my guts come out, I'm like, ah! 
<laughs> you know, like I would love that. I would love that. That'd be awesome. What an awesome, <laughs> what an awesome experience. I would love that. Love it. But um, hopefully, you know, and, and this is the route that I'm going. Um, in five years, I would like to have booked enough work to pay off my student loans. <laughs> and <laughs> ain't that the truth? And, and to just continuing finding work, just being a working actress. So yeah. Yes, and like I said, she is very, very talented. Thank I mean, you. <laughs> like when 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 you and 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 Nixon were on stage and yeah. y'all were arguing, I was like, yo, that yeah. every, I had to catch myself every time. It was just like mm -hmm. that. <sighs> Thank you. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody should see that play. Faith Under yeah. Fire, it was great. That was a great experience, mm -hmm. huh? We met a lot of good people. I met her. This is where I yeah. met her. It'll it's be coming back in uh, December. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm so excited. December. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. It was it was a it was a great cast and mm -hmm. you know, it was uh, great technical management yeah. with stage management and lighting and music and everything and it was just it was it was it was really good yeah it's probably the sweetest cast i've oh, ever yeah. worked with just a great cast yeah and yeah. it was it was my biggest cast but yeah it was still the funnest because i've worked with you know a cast where it's been like four or five of us and i've been mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. but with with that cast that yeah. we had everybody was just yeah. mad cool you know everybody greeted yeah. each other with hugs when we came in it was Nothing but love and mm -hmm. shoot. Shouts out to my boy Kyle, man, down in VA. My boy Kyle, you know, cool. Hi, Kyle. Yeah. Every, every, every time, every time we had an intermission, we'd go over to my house and watch Black Jesus. Hilarious <laughs> show. Hilarious. <laughs> Yo, it was, uh, it was, it was really good meeting a lot of yeah. people. Yeah. You know, and like I said, that that play is going to be taken, and I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that you are one of the ones because you are a main character <laughs> in that that's going to be, you know, traveling with that, you know. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, this, it's also a phenomenal opportunity. Who is your manager? Is, uh, is yeah, so, Lorna is your manager um, yeah, so I Lorna have, Rainey is my manager with Talent the Express. We same manager. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're just. We're like tied. Yes, yes, we we're are. Like, we're right in that yes, circle. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh man! All right, before we run out of time, give mm -hmm. them your information where they can get okay. in contact with you for any type of work, anything. Um, yeah. So um, I do have a website. It's TaraWeddington.com. You could also um, find me on Facebook. It's Tara J Weddington on Facebook, and also my Instagram is Girl Meets Curl. And that is G U R L M E E T S C U R L. Like girl meets curl. I wanted it to, to kind of like look like this. You know, I was, I, it sounded cool. In the, it, it, I have curl, like no one ever was like, what? I have curly hair and I do yoga. So I was like, curl, like I'm curling my body and my hair is curly. Like I thought it sounded good at the time, but I'm just going to stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with it, so and she stuck <laughs> not with gonna it. change it. <laughs> so you have her information <laughs> to get a hold of her, TaraWeddington.com. I'm your main <laughs> man, Uber Guy, here with the Actors Cut. Thank you for joining us for another hot show. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Yay! That was fun. Thank you. It was fun. It was recorded. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna use it. Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm, I'm actually, I'm about to um, get my YouTube channel. Oh, that's awesome.